Yeah, baby, more paint. Woo! So, uh, we had a customer in with a Toyota today. Oil change, maintenance inspection, check the tires, look the car over. Complaint was creaking in the suspension. Just had some suspension work done in the past. Um, so here's, so to address the customer's concern with suspension creak or creaking, right? We identify that, hey, the vehicle is over 10 years old and uh, the bushings are worn, the suspension's worn, technically not this, not this, not this, necessarily worn out or broken right but there's signs and sometimes that happens so Rachel asked me well why does he need these parts because the suspension's creaking well what's bad nothing really has to be bad for a suspension to be creaking or a body to be creaking um, there is corrosion tension and some other things so what's all over my face right is so when I pull the subframe bolt out it's holding water which makes rust okay and then back here, uh, you'll see that the corrosion is dripping down the threads and then you'll see some corrosion there, but that's not even the worst of it. This bolt here, this bolt here, which is the forward lower control arm, uh, let's, let's zoom in here, Mr. Camera. You can see all the rust. Let's find a spot for you guys to sit. So all the rust, is inside of here and what happens is as the suspension bushings flex right it's flexing on the corrosion as well so to get in there and clean all this crap out and fix it it's just really not worth the time and so I'll just show you a closer look here's the driver's side all right stuck seized full corrosion. and that goes on both sides so to, re to resolve the issue is replace the lower control arms lubricate everything that's suffering from water damage and age and corrosion replace the sway bar to frame bushings grease everything up and he should be perfectly fine but it was almost to the point to where like i can't tell you that there's necessarily something wrong it's the experience and knowledge that i have over time that says hey what style uh subframe is this this is a solid mount subframe all right so we eliminate uh subframe uh bushings and bolts uh, necessarily causing the issue, so you kind of narrow it down. This subframe is kind of solid mounted to the chassis, and it uses the motor mounts and transmission mounts to insulate the vibrations. So then the next part is, all right, well, let's move on to bushing inspection for what you can see, and just say, hey, you know, my experience says that his bushings have issues either internal or in the collars or rust and seize. And some vehicles will never make the noise, and some vehicles will make a noise. So uh, I figured I would share that with you with the, with the crap all over my face. Uh, there was another YouTuber that said that why do we throw the parts canning, cannon at AC systems? We don't throw the parts cannon at AC systems. The customers come in with a problem and they want it resolved. And resolving a customer's problem isn't recharging it uh, in, in most cases, right? So if you charge the system up and it's still not blowing cold and the blower functions good, then guess what? It's going to require parts. There's no doubt about it. What parts? Who knows? Could be fan problem, could be clogged wiper cowl clogged uh, cabin air filter. There's always a reason why the AC system isn't blowing 40 or 50 degrees or 60 degrees, and it's usually not just one part that fix it. Um, and to answer your question, we, won't, we, we can't even get a warranty on AC compressors unless we at minimum replace the receiver dryer. That's at minimum. And receiver dryers are part of the AC condensers in most cases today. Um, and expansion valves fail at a high rate too. Um, so to answer your question, um, we're not throwing the parts canning, in it, canning at it. That's what's required to do the job. They're different than when you went to get your engine rebuilt. They're not just going to pull it apart and put bearings in it. That's not a rebuild. That's not a rebuild. So, or gaskets and seals. I just had my engine rebuilt. They just put, did gaskets and seals. That's not a rebuild. Thanks for watching.